Hey yo folks, this is Studio. So today for this short I'm just going to talk about being in the mood to play League of Legends. Now this might sound kind of weird because you should be like, man, I always want to play League of Legends. But there's a lot of different things that will affect how you play and how you want to play. So for example, when you are in a bad mood, you will play differently. If you're angry, you probably won't pay as much attention to certain things, certain details. So, preferably you want to be in a good mood, in your proper gaming mood. However, we don't really have control over that. I mean, if you just had a bad day at work or school and you came back home and your dog was not only run over, but it turns out your dog didn't love you in the first place, then you're gonna be in a bad mood. But just Getting into the proper mindset and setup can make your games go so much better. You always want to be trying your 100% when you want to learn and get better. So, for me, something that actually helped me a lot when I used to play Warcraft 3 was I would listen to the song The Ocean by Led Zeppelin. Now, The Ocean is a very, I mean, it's been a while since so I've actually really listened to it, but the first few minutes aren't that exciting. They're kind of, it's... It's just kind of a beat going down, 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 down. And then we'll build up a bit, but it's nothing, you know, dramatic. No Dragon Force guitar solos. But then three minutes in, it goes into an outro, and, you know, the beat picks up, the music pick up, picks up, it just gets really exciting. Um, I used to play Warcraft 3, and what I would do is, I would time my pushes as Night Elf, so that, let's say I plan to push at nine minutes, I would put a song before uh, the ocean, at one the ocean got exciting, I would actually be pushing into the enemy base. Or expansion, or whatever the hell I was doing back then. Warcraft 3 has gotten so weird, by the way. It doesn't make any sense. But anyhow, it's just lots of little things. Now, for example, League of Legends, that's a lot harder to control. You can't be like, well, I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, 2 Rex, any tech, and then I'll push uh, their expansions. No, you, you kind of have to go with the flow of the game. I, I myself listen to music that's very, very mellow. Yeah, something Sometimes I'll get into something as heavy as like the Smashing Pumpkins. Such, that's not exactly a heavy style of music. So, finding what you like and just rolling with it will make your games more exciting. It doesn't have to be music. It can just be the chair you sit in. It can be the, the mouse you're using. It can just be the lighting in the room. If it turns out you want the blinds open, open them up and totally fuck up your webcams. Um, color settings, that was awesome. So, you gotta really do what works for you. Now, this may not seem obvious, but I know a lot of people, they'll play the game, and they'll get angry, and they'll keep playing, they won't do anything to fix it. Have you ever had that friend who's like, whatever LO, and then the next day you see their whatever LO minus 150, and you look at their uh, games, and it's a bunch of losses, and you could tell at the beginning they were doing okay, but then they just got worse and worse and worse and worse. I mean, this happens to a lot of players. You get into that feeling where you're like, well, I'm pissed off, I want to win, and sometimes that win just doesn't come. And generally, if you're in a loss spiral and you keep playing and you keep getting angrier, guess what? You're going to lose. You're going to play like shit because you're angry and thinking more about losing rather than about how you're actually playing at the time. I mean, maybe you'll get lucky, maybe you will win a game, but your mental status is going to be way down low, because you're, you're just going to be more focused on your anger. So, really, just kind of get in a mood to play League of Legends. Get into a mood to do what you want. This applies to everything in life. Sometimes you have control over it. If you're at a gaming cafe, and you want aromatherapy candles, not going to work. If you are working a retail job and you want aromatherapy candles, also won't work. But doing what does work, what does make you feel good, will help you with your game. It'll make you play better, or at least get comfortable and get used to this style of playing. Uh, one little note I want to end with is uh, in the International, which was a Dota 2 tournament, one of the things they had was a heart rate monitor on the pulse of the players. 
Um, this was actually really funny because at one point there had been this dramatic fight. I forget which team it even was, but they checked the pulse rate of uh, some guy who had escaped like certain death and a bunch of uh, skill shots he barely dodged. And it was pretty much what it always was. And the reason for that is he, he'd stayed calm. He'd stayed in this gaming mood. He felt this focused, serious way to play. So this has just been another short. Um, thanks for listening. I was told I should show off some chest hair, so here you go. Um, yeah, hope you like that. The studio signing out. Tomorrow we'll be, we will be looking at AP Mids featuring Sinister Rue versus Salsay. Vladimir versus Oriana. Adios.